Simferopol International Airport Russian Mezdunarodny Airport Simferopol Mezdunarodny Airport Simferopol Ukrainian Mezdunarodny Airport Simferopol Mezdunarodny Airport Simferopol Crimean Tatar, Akumsit Halkara Ava Limani, Akmadzit Halkara Ava Limani IATA, SIP Russian AIP, URFF, IRF is an airport in Simferopol, de facto the capital of the Republic of Crimea. It was built in 1936. The airport has one international terminal and one domestic terminal. On 14 May 2015, the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine which de facto has no control over the airport voted to rename it to Amit Khan Sultan International Airport, in memory of Amit Khan Sultan. Another airport named after Amit Khan Sultan is Utash Airport located in Makakala, Russia. Since the annexation of Crimea by the Russian Federation in 2014, the airport is only used for flights to and from Russia. History On 21 January 1936, the Council of People's Commissars of the Crimean Autonomous Republic decided to allocate land and begin construction of the Simferopol Airport. Simferopol to Moscow flights began in May 1936. Before the Second World War, regular air travel was established between Simferopol and Kiev, Kharkiv, and other airports. In 1957, a terminal was commissioned. Lighting equipment was installed on a dirt runway and IL-12, IL-14, and Mi-4 aircraft began landing at the airport. In 1960, a concrete runway with an apron and parking areas was constructed. The airport began to operate around the clock and in adverse weather conditions, using new aircraft such as Antonov N-10 and IL-18. In the 1950s and 1960s, the N-2 carried cargo and passenger flights to regional centers of the Crimea, and the Mi-4 flew to Yalta. In the summer of 1960, a squadron of Tu-104 was organized for the first time in Ukrainian SSR. Starting in 1964, the N-24 was based at the airport. Construction of the second runway, designed for IL-86, IL-76, IL-62, and Tu-154 aircraft, began in 1977. On 19 May 1982, Simferopol Airport was the first in Ukrainian SSR to have a wide IL-86. In subsequent years, this type of aircraft made an average of 5.6 daily flights to Moscow. In the summer of 1989, the airport was designated as a Western Alternate Airport, for landing the Buran spacecraft. In the early 2000s, the old runway 01R, 19L, length 2,700 meters, PCN 22, R, B, X, T, accommodating a maximum weight of aircraft of 98 tons, was taken out of service because of its insufficient length and strength. Since then, it has been used as taxiway D with a length of 2,100 meters, the remaining 600 meters are unsuitable for taxiing. The second runway 01, 19, is now in operation and is longer, wider and accommodates heavier aircraft. Following the 2014 Crimean crisis pro-Russian militia forces took control of the airport on 28 February 2014. Crimean airspace was closed and air traffic was disrupted for two days. On the 11th of March, Russian forces took over the control tower and closed Crimean airspace until the end of week. Ukraine International Flight PS-65 was denied landing and diverted to Kiev. With the Russian takeover of the airport, the International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO expressed concerns about the safety of international flights in the region and recommended airlines to avoid Crimean airspace. By the same token on 3 March 2014, the European Organization for the Safety of Air Navigation Eurocontrol, who also did not recognize the unilateral takeover of Ukrainian airspace by another country, had confirmed that the majority of transitional air routes have been closed, in accordance with the Chicago Convention. Ukrainian airlines also suspended routes to Simferopol, under the Russian control Russia not being a member of Eurocontrol, the airport operates flights only to destinations in Russia. On June 2014 Prime Minister of Russia, Dmitry Medvedev, signed a government resolution 960 to open the airport for international flights, however, as of March 2016 no international flights were operated. On 29 July 2014 Rosaviation granted Chechen airline Grozny Avia permission to operate non-stop flights from Simferopol to the Armenian capital of Yerevan and Turkish cities of Istanbul and Antalya. 
However, these flights were technically domestic since they operated with a stopover in Anapa. Both of the routes were suspended the same year. In May 2015, the Ukrainian parliament voted in favor of renaming the Simferopol Airport in honor of the Crimean Tatar war hero Amit Khan Sultan. The airport's management team has responded that the authority to decree such changes is vested in the Russian government, and that they do not feel the need to respond to the Ukrainian parliament's ruling. Russian State Duma deputy, Vasily Likachov, has also released a statement dismissing this ruling as having no official authority. In May 2016, construction began of a new terminal building, with a larger hall on a wave like structure and eight gates for flights. New terminal The new terminal was opened on 16 April 2018, with the first arrival at 8.30 am of Nordwind Airlines from Moscow Sheremetyevo, followed by other flights. The terminal was previously checked by 400 volunteers on 12 April 2018. The current terminal will be for VIP, business passengers and some space is going to be converted to the trolleybus and bus terminal. This new terminal is 1 km west from the old terminal, between the main runway and the old one, making the eastern part of the airport useless. Eventually, the old runway 01R, 19L will be reconstructed and the airport will be able to operate with two runways simultaneously, such as Domodedovo Airport. The new terminal has 8 gates to air bridges and 8 gates to apron buses, 16 escalators and 28 lifts, 55 check-in counters and the airport terminal is able to handle 6 million passenger annually. <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations From March 2014 onwards, all flights to, from Simferopol Airport with the exception of flights originating from Russia were cancelled due to Crimea's disputed status. A flight to Istanbul, Turkey, was operated on 19 July 2014, and a flight to Yerevan, Armenia, was operated on 16 November 2014 by Grozny Avia, a Chechen airline. Technically both of these flights were not international because they had a stopover in Anapa Airport. Dobroliot, a Russian government-owned low-cost airline, was sanctioned by the European Union for operating flights to Simferopol. The airline was forced to close less than two months after it started operations. <laughs> <laughs> Statistics Annual traffic Ground transportation Trolleybus Route 9 runs from the airport to the Simferopol railway station and Karartna bus station. In 2015, a new direct express route has been launched. 24-hour Transexpress buses and trolleybuses connect the airport with the Simferopol railway station in the city centre. The route was launched in May 2015 by Crimean Trolleybus, and runs every 10 minutes without stops in both directions. Intercity trolleybus routes 54 and 55 run to the cities of Alishta, Yalta and resorts between them on the southern coast of Crimea. Route No. 55 Simferopol, Yalta, re-established in April 2014, is known to be the world's longest trolleybus route. The airport is connected with Sevastopol bus station by direct bus route. See also List of the busiest airports in Russia List of the busiest airports in Ukraine List of the busiest airports in the former USSR. <laughs>